Section 1 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Liam Neely. Sea Fever. I must go down to the seas again to the lonely sea in the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the wheels kick and the wind's song and the white sails shaking, and the grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day, with the white clouds flying, And the flung spray, and the blown spume, and the sea gulls crying. I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, To the gull's way, and the whale's way, where the wind's like a wetted knife, And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover, and quiet sleep, and a sweet dream, when the long trick's over. End of Sea Fever Recording by Liam Neely Section 2 of Select Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely A Creed I hold that when a person dies, his soul returns again to earth. Arrayed in some new flesh disguise, another mother gives him birth. With sturdier limbs and brighter brain, the old soul takes the road again. Such is my own belief and trust. This hand, this hand that holds the pen, has many a hundred times been dust, and turned as dust to dust again. These eyes of mine have blinked and shone in Thebes, in Troy, in Babylon. All that I rightly think or do, or make or spoil, or bless or blast, is curse or blessing justly due for sloth or effort in the past. My life's a statement of the sum of vice indulged or overcome. I know that in my lives to be my sorry heart will ache and burn and worship unavailingly the woman whom I used to spurn, and shake to see another have the love I spurned, the love she gave. And I shall know in angry words, in jibes and mocks and many a tear, a carrion flock of homing birds, the jibes and scorns I uttered here, the brave word that I failed to speak, will brand me dastard on the cheek. And as I wander on the roads, I shall be helped and healed and blessed. Dear words shall cheer and be as goads to urge to heights before unguessed. My road shall be the road I made, all that I gave shall be repaid. So shall I fight, so shall I tread, in this long war beneath the stars. So shall a glory wreathe my head, so shall I faint and show the scars, until this case, this clogging mould, be smithied all to kingly gold. End of A Creed Section 3 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely. A Wanderer's Song. A wind's in the heart of me, a fire's in my heels. I'm tired of brick and stone and rumbling wagon wheels. I hunger for the sea's edge, the limit of the land where the wild old Atlantic is shouting on the sand. Oh, I'll be going, leaving the noises of the street, to where a lifting foresail foot is yanking at the sheet, to a windy tossing anchorage where yawls and catches ride. Oh, I'll be going, going, 
until I meet the tide. And first I'll hear the sea wind, the mewing of the gulls, the clucking, sucking of the sea about the rusty hulls, the songs at the capstan, at the hooker warping out, and then the heart of me'll know I'm there or thereabout. Or I'm sick of brick and stone, the heart of me is sick, for windy, green, unquiet sea, the realm of Moby Dick. And I'll be going, going, from the roaring of the wheels, for a wind's in the heart of me, a fire's in my heels. End of A Wanderer's Song Section 4 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely. The Word. My friend, my bonny friend, when we are old, and hand in hand go tottering down the hill, may we be rich in love's refined gold, may love's gold coin be current with us still. May love be sweeter for the vanished days, And your most perfect beauty still as dear, As when your troubled singer stood at gaze In that dear march of a most sacred year. May what we are be all we might have been, And that potential perfect, O oh my friend, And may there still be many sheaves to glean In our love's acre, comrade, till the end. And may we find, when ended is the page, Death but a tavern on our pilgrimage. End of The Word Section 5 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely Cargoes Quinquirim of Nineveh from distant Ophir, rowing home to Haven in sunny Palestine, with a cargo of ivory and apes and peacocks, sandalwood, cedarwood, and sweet white wine. Stately Spanish galleon, coming from the isthmus, dipping through the tropics by the palm-green shores, with a cargo of diamonds, emeralds, amethysts, topazes, and cinnamon, and gold moidores dirty British coaster with a salt-cake smokestack, butting through the channel in the mad March days with a cargo of tine-coal, road-rail, pig-lead, firewood, ironware, and cheap tin trays. End of Cargoes Section 6 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely Fragments Troy Town is covered up with weeds. The rabbits and the pismires brood on broken gold and shards and beads where Priam's ancient palace stood. The floors of many a gallant house are matted with the roots of grass. The glow-worm and the nimble mouse among her ruins flit and pass, and there, in orts of blackened bone, the widowed Trojan beauties lie, and Simoia's babbles over stone and wops and gurgles to the sky. Once there were merry days in Troy, her chimneys smoked with cooking meals. The passing chariots did annoy the sunning housewives at their wheels. And many a lovely Trojan maid set Trojan lads to lovely things. The game of life was nobly played. They played the game like queens and kings. So that, when Troy had greatly passed, in one red roaring fiery coal, the courts, the Grecians overcast, became a city of the soul. In some green island of the sea, where now the shadowy coral grows, in pride and pomp and empery the courts of old Atlantis rose. In many a glittering house of glass the Atlanteans wandered there. The paleness of their faces was like ivory, so pale they were. And hushed they were, no noise of words in those bright cities ever rang. 
only their thoughts like golden birds about their chambers thrilled and sang. They knew all wisdom, for they knew the souls of those Egyptian kings who learned in ancient Babylon the beauty of immortal things. They knew all beauty when they thought the air chimed like a stricken lyre, the elemental birds were wrought, the golden birds became a fire. And straight to busy camps and marts the singing flames were swiftly gone, the trembling leaves of human hearts hid boughs for them to perch upon. And men in desert places, men abandoned, broken, sick with fears, rose singing, swung their swords again, and laughed, and died among the spears. The green and greedy seas have drowned that city's glittering walls and towers. Her sunken minarets are crowned with red and russet water flowers. In towers and rooms and golden courts the shadowy coral lifts her sprays, the scrawl hath gorged her broken orts, the shark doth haunt her hidden ways. But at the falling of the tide the golden birds still sing and gleam, the Atlanteans have not died, immortal things still give us dream. The dream that fires man's heart to make, to build, to do, to sing, to say, a beauty death can never take, an Adam from the crumbled clay. Greenwich. End of Fragments. Section 7 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely. A Consecration. Not of the princes and prelates with periwig charioteers, riding triumphantly laurelled to lap the fat of the years. Rather, the scorned, the rejected, the men hemmed in with the spears. The men of the tattered battalion which fights till it dies, dazed with the dust of the battle, the din and the cries, the men with the broken heads and the blood running into their eyes. Not the bemedalled commander, beloved of the throne, riding cock-horse to parade when the bugles are blown, but the lads who carried the copier and cannot be known. Not the ruler for me, but the rancor, the tramp of the road, the slave with the sack on his shoulders pricked on with the goad, the man with too weighty a burden, too weary a load. The sailor, the stoker of steamers, the man with the clout, the chantyman bent at the halyards, putting a tune to the shout, the drowsy man at the wheel, and the tired lookout. Others may sing of the wine and the wealth and the mirth, the portly presence of potentates goodly in girth. Mine be the dirt and the dross, the dust and the scum of the earth. Theirs be the music, the color, the glory, the gold. Mine be a handful of ashes, a mouthful of mold. Of the maimed, of the halt, and the blind, and the rain, and the cold. Of these shall my songs be fashioned, my tales be told. Amen. End of A Consecration Section 8 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely. Captain Stratton's Fancy. Oh, some are fond of red wine, and some are fond of white, and some are all for dancing by the pale moonlight, but rum alone's the tipple and the heart's delight of the old bold mate of Henry Morgan. Oh, some are fond of Spanish wine, and some are fond of French, and some will swallow tay, and stuff it only for a wench. But I'm for right Jamaica till I roll beneath the bench, says the old bold mate of Henry Morgan. 
Oh, some are for the lily, and some are for the rose, but I am for the sugar cane that in Jamaica grows, for it's that that makes the bonny drink to warm my coppered nose, says the old bold mate of Henry Morgan. Oh, some are fond of fiddles, and a song well sung, and some are all for music, for to lilt upon the tongue, but mouths were made for tankards, and for sucking at the bung, says the old bold mate of Henry Morgan. Oh, some are fond of dancing, and some are fond of dice, and some are all for red lips and pretty lasses' eyes. But a right Jamaica puncheon is a finer prize to the old bold mate of Henry Morgan. Oh, some that's good and godly ones, they hold that it's a sin to troll the jolly bowl around and let the dollars spin. But I'm for toleration and for drinking at an inn, says the old bold mate of Henry Morgan. Oh, some are sad and wretched folk that go in silken suits, and there's a mort of wicked rogues that live in good reputes. So I'm for drinking honestly and dying in my boots, like an old bold mate of Henry Morgan. End of Captain Stratton's Fancy Section 9 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely. A Valediction. We're bound for blue water, where the great winds blow. It's time to get the tax aboard, time for us to go. The crowds at the capstan, and the tunes in the shout. A long pull, a strong pull, and warp the hooker out. The bow wash is eddying, spreading from the bows. Aloft and loose the topsails, and some one give a rouse. A salt Atlantic chanty shall be music to the dead. A long pull, a strong pull, and the yard to the masthead. Shrilly squeal the running sheaves, the weather gear strains, such a clatter of chain sheets the devils in the chains. Over us the bright stars, under us the drowned, a long pull, a strong pull, and we're outward bound. Yonder round and ruddy is the mellow old moon, the red funneled tug has gone, and now, sunny soon, we'll be clear of the channel, so watch how you steer, ease her when she pitches, and so long, my dear. End of A Valediction Section 10 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely The Golden City of St. Mary Out beyond the sunset, could I but find the way, is a sleepy blue laguna which widens to a bay, and there's the blessed city, so the sailors say, the golden city of St. Mary. It's built of fair marble, white without a stain, and in the cool twilight when the sea winds wane, the bells chime faintly like a soft warm rain in the golden city of St. Mary. Among the green palm trees where the fireflies shine Are the white tavern tables where the gallants dine Singing slow Spanish songs like old mulled wine In the golden city of St. Mary. Oh, I'll be shipping sunset words and westward ho through the green toppling combers a shattering into snow till i come to quiet moorings and a watch below in the golden city of st mary end of the golden city of st mary section 11 of selected public domain poems by john macefield this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. 
Recording by Liam Neely Trade Winds In the harbour, in the island, in the Spanish seas, are the tiny white houses and the orange trees, and day long, night long, the cool and pleasant breeze of the steady trade winds blowing. There's the red wine, the nutty Spanish ale, the shuffle of the dancers, the old salt's tail, the squeaking fiddle, and the suffing in the sail of the steady trade winds blowing. And at nights there's fireflies, and the yellow moon, and in the ghostly palm trees the sleepy tune of the quiet voice calling me, the long low croon of the steady trade winds blowing. End of Trade Winds Section 12 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely Beauty I have seen dawn and sunset on moors and windy hills, coming in solemn beauty like slow old tunes of Spain. I have seen the Lady April bringing the daffodils, bringing the springing grass and the soft warm April rain. I have heard the song of the blossoms and the old chant of the sea, and seen strange lands from under the arched white sails of ships. But the loveliest thing of beauty God ever has shown me are her voice and her hair and eyes and the dear red curve of her lips. End of Beauty Section 13 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely St. Mary's Bells It's pleasant in Tolly Mary, by San Marie Lagoon. The bells they chime and jingle from dawn till afternoon. They rhyme and chime and mingle, they pulse and boom and beat, and the laughing bells are gentle, and the mournful bells are sweet. Oh, who are the men that ring them, the bells of San Marie? Oh, who but sonsy seamen come in from over sea? And merrily in the belfries they rock and sway and hail, and send the bells a jangle and down the lusty ale. It's pleasant in Holy Mary to hear the beaten bells come booming into music which throbs and clangs and swells from sunset till the daybreak, from dawn till afternoon in Port of Holy Mary, on San Marie Lagoon. Coram Street End of the Bells of St. Mary's Section 14 of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Liam Neely Spanish Waters Spanish waters, Spanish waters, you are ringing in my ears like a slow sweet piece of music from the grey forgotten years, telling tales and beating tunes, and bringing weary thoughts to me of the sandy beach at Muertos, where I would that I could be. There's a surf breaks on Los Muertos, and it never stops to roar, and it's there we came to anchor, and it's there we went ashore where the blue lagoon is silent amid snags of rotting trees dropping like the clothes of corpses cast up by the seas. We anchored at Los Muertos when the dipping sun was red. We left her half a mile to sea to west of Niggerhead. And before the mist was on the quay, before the day was done, we were all ashore on Muertos with the gold that we had won. We bore it through the marshes in a half-score battered chests, sinking in the sucking quackmires to the sunburn on our breasts, heaving over tree trunks, gasping, damning at the flies and heat, longing for a long drink out of silver in the ship's cool lazarite. The moon came white and ghostly as we laid the treasure down, 
There was gear there'd make a beggar man as rich as Lima town. Copper charms and silver trinkets from the chests of Spanish crews, gold doubloons and double moidors, louis doors and portagoos, clumsy yellow metal earrings from the Indians of Brazil, uncut emeralds out of Rio, bezoar stones from Guayaquil, silver in the crude and fashioned pots of old Arica bronze, jewels from the bones of Incas desecrated by the dons. We smoothed the place with mattocks, and we took and blazed the tree which marks yon where the gear is hid that none will ever see. And we laid aboard the ship again, and south the way we steers to the loud surf of Los Muertos which is beating in my ears. I'm the last alive that knows it. All the rest have gone their ways, killed or died, or come to anchor in the old mulattus caves. And I go singing, fiddling, old and starved and in despair. And I know where all that gold is hid, if I were only there. It's not the way to end it all. I'm old and nearly blind. And an old man's past's a strange thing, for it never leaves his mind. And I see in dreams a whiles the beach, the sun's disc dipping red, and the tall ship under topsails swaying in past Niggerhead. I'd be glad to step ashore there, glad to take a pick and go to the lone blazed cocoa palm tree in the place no others know and lift the gold and silver that has mouldered there for years by the loud surf of Los Muertos, which is beating in my ears. End of Spanish Waters End of Selected Public Domain Poems by John Macefield